welcome to the project demonstration of uh, solar home automation by using iot with the storage so here we are going to control the devices the ac and dc loads and uh, ac loads will get the power supply from this inverting circuit and dc load directly from this 12 volts dc 1 amp battery so the main purpose is from the solar panel we are going to charge a battery and uh, as well as when the sunlight is not available we are going to charge this battery from this transformer so both charges connected to this battery once the battery is fully charged we are going to provide this battery power supply to this dc fan through this relay board and ac loads through the inverter and the relays which will acting as a switch here totally three loads will be controlled and fourth relay will getting controlled through this sr04 ultrasonic sensor directly and also the controlling modules mainly node mcu as well as uh, arduino uno board it is getting power supply from this lm2596 voltage regulator which will take 12 volts dc input and provide as the 5 volts dc output so that will be distributed through this uh, breadboard and here ultrasonic sensor is to detect the objects whenever the object detects then there is a alert led indication on our blink application this can be accessed from anywhere in the world and the fourth relay will get switched on which is uh, used to uh, on the buzzer or any activating device and the remaining three relays will be controlled through this blink application through iot technology and that data will be received by this node mcu from there we are going to controlling the three loads directly so load 1 load 2 load 3 so coming to the components wise so solar panel voltage and transformer voltage through this uh, like charging circuits will be connected to this battery pack so both charging circuits look like same so each consists of rectifier and filter so here when we are providing the ac these uh, four diodes will acting as a rectifier to convert the ac to dc but on this one this four diodes will acting as a polarity corrector means if we connect the solar panel in reverse polarity wise then if we don't place this the uh, bridge rectifier for the protection purpose then the reverse polarity will be connected to this battery either solar panel and battery will get damaged if we connect in reverse polarity so but when we place this bridge rectifier which will convert the reverse polarity or connect polarity to the plus to plus minus to minus so from there directly we can uh, charge a battery so the char charging time either from the solar panel or a transformer is 4 to 5 hours and during the duration the battery will get fully charged and after uh, the battery will get fully charged uh, we can on the power supply to this modules so here we are using the three main switches so this is the main power supply on off for the whole system and this is the power supply for this relay so we should keep this upwards means we should uh, disable this till the system connected to the wifi and after system connected to the wifi then we can on this by switching that to the below position and this one is the inverting uh, disable and enable switch so let us see the demonstration so before demonstration first of all we need to go to the hotspot settings of your phone means we should provide the hotspot to the system through the hotspot only the system will be connected to the blink application so configure the hotspot name to project 6443 without any space without any capital letter password should be 12345678 and band should be 2.4 gigahertz after these settings successfully done on the hotspots now you can yeah and uh, log into the blink application there you can see the offline so initially as we discussed this should be above and on the power supply so which this offline marks goes away so when the device connected to online so it will be coming to the online directly yeah this is small correction actually this is not the project 6443 only project and password should be 12345678 so after this we can see the one device will be connected to your mobile phone that is a esp and as we discuss then we can see offline marks goes away right and after that as we discuss it should be zero so if any obstacle detects automatically open that we can see the red light will get switched on and no obstacle relay will be off we can see the relay status also the light indication and parallelly we can control the home the home automation devices so one is for the three pin socket 
and the fan DC fan which here we forgot to enable the inverter right so as a load also we switch it on right this is a bulb fan and 3 pin socket we can connect a mobile phone or any load which should be less than the 20 watts from this inverting circuit right so in this way the home automation will be achieved through the iot and to the totally system getting power supply from the solar panel only.